And thank you very much. Now to your health care coverage. If you made it through the first round of policy cancellations under Obamacare, you still might not be in the clear. Tonight, Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel tells us a lot more of you will learn. If you like your policy, that doesn't mean you can keep your policy. President Obama delayed the inevitable by postponing the employer mandate by a year and urging that canceled individual policies in 2013 be extended into 2014. But the reprieve ends this year for both the president and millions of policyholders. It's going to be millions of people and it's probably going to be tens of millions of people. But one thing we're sure of is there's going to be more cancellations this fall than there were last fall. And people will probably be getting those cancellation letters about the time they'll be going to the polls in November of 2014. Andy Mangione and his family in Louisville, Kentucky, were facing a tripling of their costs until their insurance company offered to let them extend their current policy for a year with the president's blessing as he sought to salvage his credibility. With respect to the pledge I made that if you like your plan, you can keep it. There is no doubt that the way I uh, put that forward unequivocally uh, ended up not being accurate. Or long-lasting. 6.2 million of 17 million plans on the individual market were forced into Obamacare, leaving most of the other 11 million that renewed early to expire later this year. I don't think there's any doubt that in the individual health insurance market, we'll ultimately see at least 80% of all existing individual health insurance policies canceled. And people in the small business community are going to receive notices from their brokers and their insurance plans that their old plan is being uh, ended and the new plan has to comply with Obamacare. This massive shift is no surprise to officials who projected back in 2010 that the requirements of Obamacare would force millions of cancellations. One analyst extended the mid-range predictions for 2013 to the end of 2014, showing 76 percent of small employer plans would be forced into Obamacare, along with 55 percent of large employer plans. That is going to be a, a big story because there are a lot more people with employer-sponsored insurance than individually purchased insurance. They wanted the old plans to end because they didn't comply with the new rules and regulations, and now they're forcing everybody into plans that do comply, and for many Americans that will be more expensive coverage. Raising the question of whether employers will drop their plans because they're too expensive for them and workers. So if you think there was an uproar back when only four million policies got canceled and forced into Obamacare, wait until the numbers rise to 50 million or more, which is why some think the president might opt for yet another delay. Shannon? We shall see. Jim, thank you.